Good morning, Southgate Gators. I'm Mrs. Halsey, and I'm going to be your reading teacher this year. Today, I'm going to read you a story called, If You Ever Want to Bring an Alligator to School, Don't. And then afterwards, we are going to create a double bubble map comparing the character in the story, the alligator, to us, the Southgate Gators. So enjoy the story and be listening for ways that the alligator is the same as us and ways that the alligator is different than us. If you ever want to bring an alligator to school, don't. If your teacher tells you to bring something from nature for show and tell, she means a hollow stick or a bird's nest or some sparkly rocks. She does not want you to bring an alligator. If you bring an alligator anyway, she'll tell you that alligators are trouble. You tell her that it's okay and you know all about alligators. The alligator will be quiet and good and he won't eat anyone. Cross your heart. But during spelling, your teacher will hear laughing. This is because the alligator will be showing you funny pictures. Your teacher will write your name on the board, Magnolia. And now you'll have to stand last in line for lunch. You'll take away the crayons and tell the alligator to be quiet and wait for show and tell. Hmm, how's that alligator working out? Then during art, an airplane will fly across the room. Hmm, what do you think the teacher's thinking now? This is because the alligator will be showing you origami. Your teacher will draw a check by your name, Magnolia. And now you'll have to stay in from recess. You'll take away the paper and, other, and order the alligator to be good and wait for show and tell. During math, you'll notice the alligator is hungry. You'll give the alligator three pieces of your favorite gum and beg him to not eat anyone and for Pete's sake to wait for show and tell. The good thing is that you'll stop him from eating any kids. The bad thing is the alligator will smack and twirl the gum. And your teacher will notice. She'll draw two more checks by your name and an underline. Now you'll have to go to the principal's office after school. During lunch, you won't even get to eat your egg and cheese sandwich because somebody will gobble up everything but the crusts. Who do you think gobbled up everything? Look at her face. Does she look very happy now? wonder if she's thinking it was a bad choice. But now, of course, you'll wish you'd brought a hollow stick or a bird's nest or some sparkly rocks for show and tell instead of an alligator. By now, you'd rather have some dirt than an alligator. You will wish this alligator would just go home. Well, here's what I would do if I were you. What would you do if you were her? First, at show and tell, you'll sit quietly and learn about hollow sticks and bird nests and sparkly rocks. It'll be your turn. You'll tell how alligators are super big and how alligators have over 74 super sharp teeth and how alligators are super tough. It's a fact. They're strong and they're tough and they aren't scared of anything except other alligators.
and humans. Booga, booga, booga. What did she do? Your teacher will be impressed. You might not even have to go to the principal's office for all the mischief that day. But then again, you might have to. Yeah, if you ever want to bring an alligator to school, don't. They're trouble. All right, so let's think about how our alligator in the story is the same as our alligator at school. So here's our Selkie Gator, and here is the book Alligator. Remember, when we want to talk about how they are the same, we put that in the middle. So both of us are actually gators, right? And when we say that we're gators, we're not really gators, but that's our school mascot. So we like, we're both called gators. This one is actually a real gator. So it's a real animal. And us Southgate gators, we are actually humans. Okay. In the story, let's think about that alligator in our story today. So when we think about our alligator, on this page, what was our alligator doing? He was distracting other people. Do we do that, okay, gators? No. He was distracting But us Southgate Gators, we are hard working. We don't distract others. We get the job done. We work hard to get things done. Here, look at here. What is happening? Look at that big mess that he's making. He's also creating paper airplanes out of paper. Have you ever made paper airplanes out of paper? So he's actually being creative. Are we creative? Yes, we are. So that is a way that we are the same. We can be creative and so can the alligator in the story. The alligator is also dishonest. He doesn't tell the truth. Look at that. When she says, who is doing that? He's pointing to her. And she's saying, no, that wasn't me. So the alligator in our story today was dishonest. Are we dishonest? No, nope. we are honest alligators, honest gators. So that's gonna go over by us on the Southgate Gators. Oh, look at this page. What is that gator gonna do? It looks like he is going to eat the student. Do Southgate Gators eat other students? No, they don't. They help each other, don't they? They help each other. They don't eat each other. And then our book gator, he wants to eat others. Let's do one more. Oh, look at when he was chewing that gum. And then he started blowing the bubbles and chomping on the gum. He made a mess 
everywhere. Do we sometimes make messes? Sometimes we do, don't we? So we could say sometimes messy. Now, there's lots of other things that we could add to our list. Maybe when we are done, you could go ahead and you could create your own double bubble and add some others from our book. And if you do, make sure you take a picture and send it to me on Seesaw. All right, boys and girls. So I hope you enjoyed listening to If You Ever Want to Bring an Alligator to School, Don't. And remember, go ahead and try to create your own double bubble and then take a picture and send it to me on Seesaw. You will also be getting another assignment in a little bit on Seesaw that you are, are to work on today, just so that we can get to know each other a little bit. And then I will share with you a little bit more about myself. I'm looking very forward to working with you this year, Gators, and we are going to enjoy reading and read lots of fun books and learn a lot about reading. Have a great day.